Hey everyone, this is Pake for Life, and in today's review we'll be taking a look at the KSC KP09 MP24 Star Saber Hand Upgrade Set, and this is in the gray version. So, as the name implies, this is just another one of KFC's um, line of upgrade hands, fully articulated hands for the MP line. This time it's for our favorite MP Star Saber. So, Packaging review is very good, going to be very quick. You get a little baggie that has a Ziploc seal. Um, once you open that up, you get all the contents of the package itself. So let's get Star Saber out of the way so we can focus. So you're going to get two sets of hands. Well, well, actually one set of two hands. And you'll see that they're very nice. Um, they're, immediately you'll notice that they have a much higher quality feel to them than the previous ones. The plastic feels a lot smoother and uh, a lot more actually um, official like in terms of uh, overall finish and, and fit. Uh, we'll go into each of these articulate hands in a second. You also get this tiny little gray piece which is actually an adapter piece for the sword and I think also the shield, um, which the original Masterpiece Star Saber hands didn't really do a good job holding just because they, they were so thin. Um, so this is a little adapter that, that plugs into the inside of the hand to allow you to get a better grip on that. You also get this teeny tiny screwdriver, which has been kind of the staple included screwdriver that you get with these hand upgrade kits. I don't rec recommend using this just because it is super tiny and it's hard to get a lot of um, leverage or torque on this. So we're, we're, we're not going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and use my own screwdriver which you've probably seen in some of my many reviews before. And the installation is pretty easy. Uh, you just go into the bottom of Star Saber's hands and you have these two Phillips head screws that you just unscrew and you just wiggle those free. I actually loosened these up earlier just to not waste your time. And then once you open it up, you'll see another Phillips head screw on the inside. You're just gonna wanna go ahead and unscrew that as well. And this is actually, uh, the, the installation for these hands is quite different in the sense that the mechanism is different so it's not like a ball or um, or mushroom peg kind of style. It's actually kind of a peg that has to be screwed in to be held in place. And you'll see we went to um, actually I don't I don't think I did a review of Star Saber because I got mine so late. But the original hands just have a molded thumb. Um, the middle ring and pinky finger are all one molded piece that are pinned, and then the index finger is a single. Um, molded piece that is separate but again just has kind of a one pin joint at the base of the hand. So not that much articulation there. Compare that to the Star Saber, the KFC hands, you'll see immediately that the the peg is longer and the reason why they make it longer is because it actually has a, it's a ball peg that allows you to get some additional wrist articulation and we'll see more of that once we get it installed. Um, additionally, you have the ball joint at the base of the thumb, and then one more joint here. On the rest of the hand, they're all ball jointed at the base, and then have two more points of articulation on each finger. So lots, lots of articulation. Um, as with this whole line, you can like spread them out. And they do a really good job of kind of collapsing. You can get, you can repeat the original look pretty, pretty accurately. These fingers tend to be a bit longer just because the joints are um, a bit longer. But overall, it still looks really good. The color, I would say, is a pretty close match to the Star Saber original Star Saber hands. The molding is not as crisp as I remember it being on the other versions of this hand. Um, it doesn't repeat the, the molding as nicely. Like here, it's kind of a little softer in terms of the, the the kind of match details. Same thing with the back of the hand molding. It's not terrible, but it's not as nice as um, I think like the Soundwave and 
and uh, Optimus Prime hands were in terms of just repeating that accurate look. So um, I'm going to actually recommend that you actually try to screw this in just into the hand by itself first um, to kind of get it pre-threaded. The reason being is because it's on a ball joint, um, when you try to screw this in and, and get the threads done, it, you have to kind of have, you kind of have to hold this in place. Otherwise, you know, once it starts getting kind of tight and you start rotating it, you start trying to screw it in, the ball joint itself in the hand will rotate, which is obviously not what you want. Um, even with it like this, it's actually pretty hard to get it fully threaded in. So it's going to take some patience um, for you to actually be able to do this, but go ahead and try to thread it in like this first before installing it in the actual hand itself. There we go. So after pre-threading it and just popping it right back in there and putting that into the uh, actual hand joint there. Um, it did take a little bit more doing than um, I would have liked just because of that that ball peg in the wrist. Um, so be just be patient with it. Be careful because obviously you don't want to strip any screws. But once you have that done, just pop these screws back on. Give them a little tighten. And there we go. And as I said before, you can actually get a lot more movement here. Because instead of just that platform, you actually get that whole wrist. Um, it does stick out a bit more, but if you want, you can push that in a bit to get it uh, closer to the hand so you don't have as much of a gap. But you still have that freedom of that ball movement for the wrist action, which is nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the installation. Um, as far as my overall final thoughts and review on on the hands, I think they're uh, a nice upgrade. Again, uh, I think they could have done a little bit better with the molding, but the articulation is great. The actual finish um, is really nice and smooth. Uh, it does match pretty well. Uh, it's a little bit lighter than um, than I was expecting, but not not that much. I mean, unless you're really looking for it, you're not going to notice it. So the other piece that we're going to talk about is this little gray piece here. Again, let's move this guy out of the way so it focuses on the right right thing. Uh, so this thing just opens up, has a little hinge joint here. And you can go bring your sword in. And there's two ways you can actually use this. You, can, um, you, you can't slide it in. You're going to have to uh, put one side in and then kind of rotate it in. And you can uh, do that. But if you do it this way, when you plug it into the hand itself, you'll notice it has a, a slot and two little pegs that stick out. So it does have a particular orientation. If you do it this way that I just showed you where you rotate the joint in, you'll notice that the sword is held this way with the, um, with the blade kind of sitting flat as opposed to the cutting edge facing outwards. Uh, the alternate alternative is go ahead and open up that flap. You just go ahead and stick it in the other way and then close this flap around it and that actually holds it pretty well too. So that way you can have the cu cutting edge actually facing the right direction. And uh, the actual joint, the pin joint on that little piece works um, really, really well so it actually does hold the handle um, in place much better than the the regular hands itself. So as far as final thoughts go on this set of hands, um, there are a couple things that I noted already like the installation is a bit more of a hassle than uh, I would have liked because of that addition of that ball peg um, making the actual screw uh, installation pretty tough. Um, the molding is a little bit softer than I would like and the color is in a perfect match but pretty close. Uh, I do like the little handle adapter. Uh, it does make holding the, the the blade a lot easier in both orientations. Um, the ball peg is a little bit looser with the weight of the sword and the shield. 
it does rotate more than I would like. I wish that um, there was a little bit more tolerance there, and I think that's actually not the ball ball joint itself, but actually the uh, the peg um, the peg that is screwed in. So that's actually rotating in the great platform back here um, because because the screw doesn't actually hold this tight against the um, the wrist itself that there's too much rotation there is a, so I think that is actually a downside of it I still would kind of recommend these um, but I don't think they're as strong as contender um, as some of the previous hands uh, in terms of overall functionality I think just because of this looseness here and the installation uh, is kind of a pain overall but yeah hopefully that helps you guys uh, make a decision whether you want to pick up this kit. It does come in both gray and uh, a limited edition white, so it's your choice. Uh, I'm not really sure what the white one is uh, referencing. I, I believe he's always had gray hands, but then again, I'm not. I'm not um, a Star Saber fan. I've never watched uh, that series, so um, really, this it's going to be up to you which one you want. If you like the review, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you'd like to keep up to date with all my news and reviews, go ahead and click that subscribe button floating around somewhere around here. Uh, and as always, thanks for watching the reviews, uh, and hopefully this helped out uh, your decision-making process. Alright? Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good one.